What's going on everyone Elliot Grinch here back with another LSPDFR patrol for Henry Aid in the building as we're gonna move on with um, we're gonna do a state patrol and we're gonna start off with uh, Alabama Department of Public Safety or the Alabama State Police State Troopers whatever you choose to call them it's all good all right so I figured we're gonna go through each state um, try to do some cities within the state as well I'm just gonna go through a lot of um, liveries now that I got my game a lot more stabilized and you know all that good stuff is all mapped out so definitely going to come with a lot more consistent uh, content so we're going to start off with the alabama state police um, and we're going to go through different cars and use them for various different patrols i'm going to put my you know put my spin on it uh so hopefully you hopefully you enjoy let definitely get down at, get down um in the comments let me know what you think let me know what you want to see let me know what you're interested in and as always any assistance that I may be able to offer. Follow me on my Discord. Please like, share the videos, you know, because you help me out. And um, and I'll keep, keep doing what I do, all right? So as you can see, we're gonna definitely try to utilize the uh, aviation unit as well. So we have the Alabama uh, helicopter. And I'm not gonna go through the interior of each vehicle. Uh, I'm definitely gonna leave um, the links below, as well as on my Discord of the vehicles used and deliveries, EUP uniforms, uh, peds and you know mods that I use all that good stuff will be in my uh, discord uh, But we have the Crown Vic here. We have a Dodge Charger We have a beautiful Corvette that we're gonna use Try to get some uh, speed enforcement in with that as well as with the um with this uh, police interceptor the Taurus slick top Taurus we'll try to use that as well and maybe we'll do the uh, motorcycle patrol we actually have a uh, Alabama motorcycle unit. We move over, we have the Ford Explorer, uh, another Crown Vic. Uh, we have the Tahoe. I believe I have the Tahoe installed uh, specifically for the uh, K9 unit, but we will utilize that as well. And one of my favorites, I like, y'all know I like to do the uh, commercial vehicle enforcement. So we will utilize this F350 for that purpose for the commercial vehicle enforcement i think this is a adult vehicle so as you can see each vehicle pretty much utilizes the um vehicle share license plate for uh, alabama so we have the Al alabama municipal plates except for i believe the uh charger because the charger has a livery and the corvette has no plate but the charger has a pre um this license plate is already um embedded in the uh, livery so you know, and I didn't feel like changing the charge. I used the charger that's from the pack that I use, so it's all good. But anyway, hopefully you enjoy the patrol. I don't know which vehicle we're gonna start off with and where we'll end up, but we'll try to do some call outs, we're gonna, but we're gonna try to stay on the highways and, and stick with um, state police related incidents. You know, maybe certain calls in the call out packs that I'll use for this, this patrol um you know i'll try to keep those keep those uh state police specific so hopefully you enjoy the patrol let me know get in the comments and um we'll take it from there but anyway dispatch show for henry yate 10 8 available for calls 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, Corvette because I, I can't wait to get this bad boy out on the road and um, see if we can get some speeders and, and see what other things we can get into. So let, let's take a look at a quick look at the interior. So if you look and take a look inside, you, you'll see a lot of bells and whistles, all the gadgets in there from the actual uh, racing version of the um, Corvette to all the police equipment that's installed. Got our Dunkin' Donuts cup ready to go. Early morning shift. Um, we have the laptop. Looks like a tough book. So let's take a look. Let me see. We have, we have our camera, camera system. So everything is being uh, filmed. And yeah, this, this bad boy is just ready to go. So of course we won't be uh, doing any um, transports ourselves. But there's definitely no room for transports. So, but uh, let's get inside. Let's make our way. Got the lights in the back. Lights in the front. Let's get our headlights on. Spotlight. Yep. Okay. Very nice. So we're going to make our way to the uh, highway. And we'll find a spot where we'll set up, or maybe we'll go driving around, put this bad boy to the test. So I hope everything is going well for you. And I hope you had a, a you know, I'm filming this over the weekend, so, or recording this rather over the weekend. So I hope you're enjoying your weekend. Out here on the east, we're, we're supposed to get some uh, snow. So, not ready for that. I don't know about anybody else, but I'm definitely not ready for the snow. But you got to take the uh, sunshine with the rain and the snow. So, right, what is this guy doing? Come on, guy. Hmm. All right, we're going to stop this guy because he didn't even he signal, but he didn't um, come to a full stop at the stop sign. Pull the vehicle over. Stop the car! Right, he's very nervous. I didn't mean to turn the low jack on. Let me turn the low jack off. Alright, pull the vehicle over to the right, driver. More to the shoulder. Alright, that's good. Alright, so this will be our first stop. Let's run the uh, license plate. So we'll have the uh, license plate in the database before we step out. So we got an Emperor 85T PC811. Registered owner is a Gene Speed. Prior citations operating a bicycle on a highway, no fishing license. All right, we have no active warrants, no suspensions that we know of. So we're just gonna stop him because he uh, failed to uh, stop, come to a full stop at the stop sign back there. Hey. Hey, how's it going there, driver? Trooper 4 Henry 8, Alabama State Police. Right, let me move up because I have the uh, trunk mod installed. Right, we don't want to stop, slow down traffic. So, did that. You, you see your license and your registration. Nice. All right, let me move up because that's the uh, trunk mod. I'll show you that later. Okay, let me get this. Um, so we have our uh, Gene Speed, the registered owner. Vehicle has valid insurance. So let's ask him, uh, do you know why I pulled you over today, sir? Oops, I didn't mean to hit speedy. <laughs> I wasn't going that fast. This is true, you weren't going that fast. You actually failed to come to a stop back there at the uh, stop sign. All right. There was no one coming, so it was safe. All right, that's not the way it works. You have to come to a full stop at the stop sign, then you proceed through the intersection just to make sure everything is clear before you just dart out into the intersection, okay? Where are you coming from now, if you don't mind me asking? He says, just, just visiting some friends. Okay, where are you heading to? 
And he says, just headed to that one place, you, you, you know, okay, he's very nervous. All right. But we don't have any other um, signs or violations, so I'm going to go ahead and write you a ticket. Stay in the vehicle, all right? So we'll just write him the ticket and we'll, we'll proceed to get to the highway. I want to get to the highways. So we'll write this guy real quickly or quickly. So we have uh, Gene Speed. We're going to create a citation. So he's driving a sedan. What was that? I believe that's gray. So we'll give it a gray color. And we will give him, I believe it's under operation. Because he did signal, which was good, but he failed to uh, stop at the stop sign. So he will get that ticket. And he'll be on his way. At least he gets to keep his car. We didn't have to take it. <laughs> You see that? I got the uh, Alabama license plates on there. So. All right, Gene, Mr. Speed. All right, here's a, a summons for you. All right. Fail to stop at the stop sign. Just answer it in a timely manner. And you should have no issues. All right. Drive safely. Take care. Use the passive radar. It's 35 miles per hour over here. So if anybody passes that speed sign. So we'll, we'll set up over here. We'll also keep ourselves available for calls. So if we get anybody doing a 70 or above in the 35, we'll, we'll jump out on them. But we'll also sit and wait for any calls. All right, so um, <clears throat> I do have to take a look into that um, persistence mod. Seventy-five. We'll, we'll, we'll go after this guy here in roadway two in the right-hand lane. We locked him in at seventy-five. But dispatch, no, we're not available. We'll be out on a traffic stop. Ah. Right, and he tried to stop abruptly, too. Okay, I don't think he's stopping. All right, pull your car over. Damn. Yeah, bring your car over here. Got a little assistance. I guess now he, he's not going to flee. He's seen the other uh, trooper car. Decided to just uh, hopefully give it a call it quits. All right. So we locked him in at 75. Let's check the vehicle. Put the vehicle into the uh, system. So we got an Oracle 26 Adam William Yellow 503. So the registered owner, Ivan Dzaskov, Zakhov, <laughs> whatever, uh, his license is expired. He's been stopped about three times. Failure to keep existing driver log, okay, and illegal camping, two citations, no prior arrests. <clears throat> Okay, so let's see if we have the uh, registered owner as the driver. Find out why he's driving 75. See, so he has one rear plate. How you doing, Hello. driver? And he has his front plate. All right, seems agitated, normal. Okay, nothing crazy. All right, I'm for Henry 8 of the Alabama State Police. I am stopping you for your uh, speed. You have your license and your registration on you? And insurance. Thank you. So he has shown us an expired license. He is the uh, registered owner that we have when we ran the vehicle. Insurance is valid, all right? 
Do you know why I'm stopping you today? I'm stopping you for your speeding. All right, it's a posted 35. I wasn't going that fast, was I? Yes, you were. All right, plus you, you show me an expired driver's license. Did you know your license expired? You're driving. I meant to do that the other day. I must have forgot. Okay. You can't drive with an expired license, okay? Or speeding on top of that. All right, just stay in the car. Give me a moment. All right, you know what? Let's check his uh, seatbelt as well. While we are uh, here, might get another citation. The person, and he's not wearing his seatbelt. All right, stay in the vehicle. All right, so he's not wearing his seatbelt, speeding, expired license. So those are grounds to definitely take the car. So we will take his car as well. All right, so let's uh, let's draw up these uh, citations. Look at that, way over expiration. So we have the uh, sedan. So we have speeding. So it was a posted 35. We got him at 75. So he's 40 miles over. So he's definitely excessive. We'll give him a notice to appear. He will have to answer for that. And we're going to give him, I think the other one is uh, documentation. Wait, no, I think a uh, seatbelt is under here too. Operation. Uh, where are you? Where are you? In the bus lane. Da, 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 da. Nope. Was that an equipment? Uh, okay. Well, we still have the documentation, the expired license <clears throat> in excess of. Um, greater than 30 days so we'll give him that and the last one is for the seat belt to find where that is probably under equipment I didn't think it would be under equipment but equipment Seatbelt violation done. Okay, so let's get this guy out of the vehicle. Gonna have him uh, step out actually. Nope, not that one. Okay, there we go. Wait a minute. All right, then step out. All right, I'm going to be taking your car. All right. We'll give you these violations. Okay, your car is going to be towed, all right? All right, so just follow me over here. Well, I'm going to walk him over. I'll walk him to uh, in front of our car. All right, so anything in the vehicle I need to know about, I'm going to search the vehicle before I have it towed. So let's see. Fireworks with a receipt. Okay, so no illegal fireworks. That's good. Let's check the VIN number. So we can give the information to our dispatch for the tow truck. Okay, no information on the vehicle from the VIN, obviously. Oh, well. Let's call for a tow. Dispatch, can you roll me out a tow truck? Large flatbed. Flatbed. Assistance required in Grande Sonora Desert. All right, sir. Do you want to leave here by foot? Or should I call you a cab? All right, let's call him a taxi. I'll call you a taxi, all right? I don't want you leaving from here. It's not safe. You may not find your way up to the... Um, service road which is up there but we'll, we'll call you a cab it's no big deal all right so he'll go with the tow probably with the cab he'll follow his uh vehicle and uh you know we'll call that a a productive day all right so we're driving on patrol see if we get any calls or we'll find a location stop and um Okay, let's see if we can 
pace with this guy behind us. He seems like he's coming up behind us kind of fast. I always keep taking my eye off the road. <laughs> so, um, all right, so we're on patrol. Let's see if we get any call. Okay, this guy is coming up behind us. 76. Yeah, pull over. So 76 and a 35, I believe, or a 60. I think it's a 60 over here. Then pull the car over, driver. Come over here. Pull your car over to the right. So we got him 76 coming up behind us on a pace. All right, so let's, um, man, look at my car. I got to get my car clean. All right, so let's run the vehicle plate. Okay, we got an alert on this vehicle. 23 Nora Sam Larry 916. No insurance, and the registered owner's license is expired, which will be a Mark Blaze. Prior citations for speeding, of course. Fail to yield, stop, follow it too closely. Okay, so we're going to see if Mark Blaze is the uh, driver. At this time, vehicle appears to be occupied one time. <clears throat> so we'll go with a 76 and a 60. Hello. How you doing there? Trooper 4 Henry 8, Alabama State Police. You have your license, registration, and insurance on you. Okay, so we have extreme caution, bloodshot, dilated pupils. Thank you. Smell of narcotics. And Mark Blaze is the operator, owner operator. All right, do you know why I pulled you over? You were coming up behind me speeding. All right, 76 and a 60. You went right past my vehicle. Sorry, I must have not been paying attention. Okay. So where you coming from? If you don't mind me asking. My house, duh. Okay, where you heading to? And he says, am I driving right now? All right, he doesn't seem coherent. All right, have you been doing any drinking recently? Just a couple of beers earlier. All right, what about any narcotics or drugs? Have you used any drugs recently? Yes, I have, officer. Please don't arrest me. I can't go to jail. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna ask him to step out of the vehicle. Driver, go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me. Okay, I'm gonna give you a couple of tests, okay? If you pass these tests, then you could be on your way. All right, lower arm has needle marks, okay? If you don't pass these Hello. tests, then you, you have an issue, okay? All right, so I need you to stare at this item for me. You're gonna stare at this pen. Keep your eyes on the pen. Don't move your head, all right? Fail, all right, head movement, yes. Pupil movement, jittery, results, he failed. Okay, you failed that test, unfortunately. All right, I'm going to give you a breathalyzer. I need to see how much you've been drinking, all right? Just continuously blow into this item. Blow, 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 blow. Thank you. Okay, what do we have? Let's see. All right, no, okay, no uh, alcohol. I'm going to give you a swab test and just check you for some narcotics, okay? Thank Let's you. see what we got. Let's see what the results are. All right, you are positive for cocaine and positive for methamphetamine. All right, so you are going to be placed under arrest. Consider I need you to turn around. Arrest. Put your hands behind your back. All right, we'll, we'll take care of the car situation in a moment, all right? you have anything on you that's going to harm me, poke me, stick me, anything I need to know about that you shouldn't have? Dispatch calling Unit 4, Henry 8. Citizens reporting a DUI in Vinewood Hills. All right. Dispatch, I need you to I need you to cancel all calls for me. I'm on a traffic stop. We're gonna have one under. Roger, dispatch, we are en route. Okay. 10 4, copy that. Alright. So we'll grab this guy and um Okay, let's put him over here on the side of the road for a moment. Alright, get in get in kneel down for me, alright? Anything in the car I need to know about? Let's search the vehicle. And we find oh several pounds of cocaine, an American flag, bags of groceries, a bottle of morphine, a bottle of hand sanitizer, and a tennis racket. Several pounds of cocaine. Oh, that's no good. All right, so let's let's make a note of that. So we found um several pounds of cocaine. 
pounds of oh, well my thing isn't typing okay several pounds of cocaine cocaine's a hell of a drug so we make a note of that all right so you, so you have uh, several pounds of cocaine in the vehicle did you know that I'm gonna okay you're not saying anything no problem all right so let's get um let's get a let's get a backup unit out here for the moment I'm right, gonna call for backup. Assistance required on uh, Los Santos Freeway. I'm gonna check the VIN number on this car. Copy, officer zero. See if we can check the VIN number. See if anything suspicious. United Kingdom, vehicle made in the United Kingdom, 2017 model. All right. And why is backup all the way over there? Okay. Turn this uh, radar off. Alright, All right. here comes back up, pulling up. I'm gonna do our arrest report real quick. Let's open up the notepad. So we have several pounds of cocaine. Um, he is under the influence. Expired. He has an expired license. And was there something? I believe there was something on the car, right? We had an alert on the car. No insurance, I believe. Let's uh, run that. Let's run that vehicle. It's going to be 23N. Wait, is that it? Yeah. 23NS. SL916. So no insurance and okay, no insurance and expired license. So he'll be charged with all of that. Since he's the registered owner, he's responsible for the insurance. So several pounds of cocaine, which we still will have to do a test, but I'm going to charge him with that. I'll do that. I'll put that in the uh, into evidence. Well, you know what? Let, let's do it the right way once again. I, I hate cutting corners. So, let's see if we can even test the uh, several pounds of cocaine. So, let's store the, store the evidence. So, we have several pounds of cocaine. Several pounds of cocaine. Several pounds of cocaine. And we can test that, so we'll test it. And if we have a positive is positive then he will definitely be charged with that so let's go ahead and put a little dab in there shake it up blue positive for cocaine crack okay so that's a that's good to go and now I feel comfortable writing this report out without an issue so let's go ahead and put his plate back in there it's gonna be two three n and SL9, SL916. And he will be charged with that. So we're going to charge him with the possession of crack cocaine. What's that? And I guess we could, you know, with several pounds, we're going to say drug trafficking also. And as far as for the traffic rules, we're going to charge him with the speeding. We'll also charge him with the uh, driving with an expired driver's license. 
and we're gonna charge him with no insurance there's a uh, expired ba -ba -ba, while license expired boom and he'll have to answer for that stuff all right let's go ahead and call for a prisoner transport hopefully we'll ask this officer to take him in can you transport this gentleman down to the um, station please I'll be down there momentarily. All right, let's get this car towed as well. Let's go for a tow truck. All right, so we have tow on the way. All right, tow is pulling up. And thank you. And so we got this guy off of uh, off the interstate. And that's usually what um, some of the troopers do as well. Well, you know, the state police able to catch vehicles transporting along the uh, interstates and routes. Let's let her get out. And um, so that was successful. So we got a intoxic oh, a, a driver who was uh, speeding, you know, breaking the traffic law. Real simple violation and turned out to be a drug bust. All right, so dispatch, you can show 4 Henry 8108 available for calls. All right, that's going to conclude our patrol for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the patrol in Alabama. On the next one, we'll probably do commercial vehicle enforcement, then followed by maybe the aviation uh, or and another patrol. But um, hopefully you enjoy. Uh, make sure, please, continue to subscribe, like, share. Uh, I appreciate all the uh, feedback, all the assistance that I can provide. Follow me on Discord. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know your comments. Uh, you know, things that I can make, you know, ways I can make the um, uh, podcast, uh, you know, better. And, um, you know, and I'll be bringing you other games as well. Um, I, you know, I have, um, what was the, uh, I have a train simulator game I'm going to start uh, posting videos for and um, a couple of other games that I have. Um, you know, I'm drawing a blank right now. But anyway. <laughs> Catch you on the next one. Stay safe. Take care. Be well.